And we're back, episode two of uh, Vampire. Um, let's just let's just dive right into it. I don't I don't I don't have anything else to if say. Swan this game's awesome. Let's attacker, just go it means fucking. Somebody else came here tonight. Let's just go Someone murder some people. Something. <laughs> Good Come evening, here, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. Don't talk to me I like that. I apologize for my outfit. It's been. It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. <laughs> Damn. Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? I'm gonna murder you. What's going on around <laughs> here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. The sewer dog? What? Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone, blame the sewer dog, eh? Mm. You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. True that, man. Jeez. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Yeah, make make love to your beautiful bottle then, you bastard. What about you, away. miss? Evening, sir. You know something. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. Well, if you must. I love his voice. I have a few questions for you. It's just, uh, it's so great. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Ooh, so he's a vampire then. What happened Let's see what tonight? happened. He was dead drunk as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. Okay. Tom Watts. All right, he's got a decent amount of blood. Oh, I really like this. Dyson Delaney. That's that fucking drunk. You see, oh, his blood quality is shit. Tom Watts. Okay. She's got good blood, so does Tom. Alright. Whoa. Man, I gotta adjust that. Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. My freaking DPI settings are way too high. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. 
Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Lies. Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend Ooh. anymore. Damn. It was like fucking Star Wars. These are not the droids you were looking for. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Why lie to me Love if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer and that's the truth. You did not say I that. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. <sighs> What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong, now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? I don't know if there's gonna be much talking going on between me and me and this guy here. There's gotta be something can be done to get out of this bullshit mess. Mm. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city. Oh yeah. What do we got here? Join the Royal Fleet today. Would you like to know more? Ask your nearest recruiting office. Oh, it reminds me of uh, Starship Troopers. Would you like to know more? Would you like to know more? Oh, that's so funny. Inspect the boats. Uh, okay. Oh, hello. What is, was that a fire? Okay. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Yeah, he's got some van braces to fucking fit, too. This corpse has been dried of its blood. Just like the previous victim. What's this? Some sort of note. He's drinking some whiskey too. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. All right. Well. Can't we just teleport? Yeah, there we go. Done. See? Look at that. Oh, okay. So I can't go up that way. But we can go in here. Look at that. Oh. Silently sneak up on somebody. No, you're just gonna be doing it right. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need. I didn't even read how to equip it. What's up here? Local investigation. Citizens menu. Main quest. Character. Oh. All right. A lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Why is... Shut that foolish man of yours. You have known McCullum to be wrong about anything. Oh. Oh shit. So he's resistant to being shot. Resistant to being shot. So melee, it is. If the man says a blood suck is dug in here, you've got one job, and that's to find it and find it. Bastard. It's fair enough, Tom. But why do they hide where it's so damn cold? Here we go. 
Ooh. Oh, he totally saw me. <laughs> oh, he saw me. Oh, no, oh, okay. Now, here we go. Steady, boys. Oh, I fucking I fucked that up. Come here, boy. Good night. Yeah, let's go up here. I like their screams when you burn them alive. Stay close, keep an eye on each other. Look at this! Oh man, I just chunked that guy's health right there with that one hit. Okay, so you can carry a lot of bullets and stuff. Okay, so blood trail is still going this way. So what does it tell me T over there for? Oh, to open it up. Okay, that's cool. You can kind of toggle back and forth whether you want to see the whole like player card. Let's sneak up on this guy. Oh yeah, let's feed on this motherfucker. Oh man, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. It's so satisfying. Okay, so we need to go, oh, yeah, I'm going to say we go up here. Oh, it's just a hideout. Okay, cool. Okay, thanks for the shillings. Always will take those. Turn my hand apart, lead plate. Oh my god, is there a crafting element too? Oh, yeah. Upgrade my melee weapon? Oh my god, my machete. Enhanced damage? Enhan oh, pff. Uh, yeah? Increased damage. I need aluminum shard. Oh man, that's... That's exciting. This game is like an RPG, basically. There's so much you can do. Alright, so we got claws. Ooh, buddy. Let's go with the big thirst. I think absorbing more blood in combat would be really ideal. Increase the damage inflicted when using bite in combat. Oh yeah. Perfect. Okay. Oops. <laughs> the following night. I can't wait till I get some badass clothes. I don't want to, like, it's clearly obvious that something happened when I'm wearing clothes like this. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Oh! Eek! <laughs> wrong button. Oh, it's Q. You know, that button that I reassigned? Silly bastard. 
It's okay. locked. That's fine. Fresh Let's go this blood. Way. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Ooh. The dark social circle. I don't know. As one, we shall overcome this. We've done it before. This place reeks of bloodshed. I love the music. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Fucking chance against me. Oh, he stood no chance. William was an honorable man. <laughs> None. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am. I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray oh, without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you? Yep, she is. Like me. Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Yep. Damn. Hers has a long range. Long range blink ability. Ah, oh, damn. Let's help the priest out. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, guy. I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. I wonder if that's what happens if you don't feed or drink, I guess, as a this vampire. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. I'm going to guess that it's simply from lack of feeding. Headed. We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for you a fool. Know. You use me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. 
Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. What, I war, am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. Two, maybe? I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Who? Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. Ooh. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <laughs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand traditionally the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. Ooh. So, what Thank do you say? God. Oh, yeah, we're gonna definitely accept. Just it shake your damn head, yes. Choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Alright, guys, probably a good place to end episode two. We'll see you for episode three. Thanks for watching. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified about new videos coming out. Here are a couple of video suggestions I have for you. Uh, you can either pick this one here, or you can pick this one here. Both are wonderful. Or you can search my channel for content. Uh, that maybe fits your needs more so, but you know, I do have to say that I did handpick these for you and I know you will enjoy them. Otherwise, see you next week, you filthy animals. <laughs>